Hello folks, welcome to demonstration video number 11 of my eShop project. So in the previous 10th video, I talked in depth about the UI design inside of the user profile page. In this video, I am gonna mainly focus about the user profile updating process. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, we are currently on our user profile page. I have already demonstrated this UI in previous video. To demonstrate the updating process, I am gonna change the user details on these fields inside this profile settings section. Of course, except of these four grayed out fields which we are not letting users to change from here. Okay, as you can see, now I am updating the user details on these fields. I am leaving user profile picture without updating for now. Okay, now I'm gonna click on this update my profile button. As you can see, we are getting a confirmation prompt like this. It alerts us, this won't update your profile picture. If you want to update it, please choose an image first. We are getting this because we are not updating the profile picture. I'm gonna say okay for this prompt. Okay, now this page gives us an alert as successfully completed update in the user profile. I'm gonna okay this too. Apparently, our input fields are updated right now. To ensure that, now I am going to reload this page again. Ok, now we are certain that all of our updatable fields are updated. Now I am going to update the user profile picture. So I am clicking on this update profile picture button here. When clicking on that, it opens an explorer window to select an image to update. As you can see, I selected an image file to update. Okay, now let's click on update my profile button again. As you can see, this time we are not getting a confirmation prompt like the previous time. Okay, now this page gives us an alert as successfully completed update in the user profile. I'm gonna say okay for that. Profile picture is now updated successfully as it seems. To ensure that, now I'm gonna reload this page again. Okay, now we are certain that it is. Alright, let's get into the code inside of things. So I'm going to the VS code now. As you can see we are currently on our user profile.php file. To keep this running in the state it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside of these head tags I'm linking bootstrap.css then bootstrapicons.css then bootstrap.min.css then fontawesome.min.css then finally our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of the body tags, I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and our own script.js file. These are the codes of our user image weaving section. The code inside of this PHP script is getting the user image path from our database. To carry the data of this image field to the JavaScript side using the Ajax method, I am adding ID like this. Then to carry this image choose a section using the Ajax method, I am adding ID like this. Then I am calling a JavaScript function named update pfp from this update profile picture button. For a moment, let's go to our script.js file. Okay, we can see our update pfp js function here. Under that, I am grabbing those incoming elements that I mentioned before using their IDs. This file.onChange is waiting for the moment when we are selecting a new image to update. This is getting our selected new image file. Then this is creating a temporary path aka url for that image file. Ok, now let's go to our user profile.php file again. Codes like this which are inside of php scripts are setting data from our database to the input fields. To carry this data on the input fields using the ajax method to the javascript side, we are adding ids like this. When adding these ids, we are adding them only to the updatable fields only. Then I'm calling a JavaScript function named update profile from this update my profile button. Okay, now let's go to our script.js file again. You can see our update profile JS function here. Under that I am grabbing those input fields that I mentioned before using their IDs. Then I'm creating a new form data like this. Then I'm appending those input field data to that. If new user profile image wasn't selected to update, this is giving this confirmation prompt. If a image was selected, this is appending that to the form data. Now 
then I'm creating a new XML HTTP request here. This already state changes here to figure out the current state of our request. When update profile process.php side is giving a response text, this is alert in that. Then we are sending our request form data to the update profile process.php side using the post method from here. Now let's go to our update profile process.php side. On top of this PHP script, I'm starting a session like this. Then I'm requiring the connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. If the user was signed into their user account, this is getting the input field data from the JavaScript side. To get them, this is obviously using the post method. These calls are checking out whether a new profile image was selected to update or not. If an image file was selected, this is grabbing that like this. Then we are creating a new array like this including allowing image file types. Then this is getting the file type of our selected image. If our selected image file have a file type other than that file types inside that array, this is giving alert as please select a valid image. If file type matched with the file type inside of that array, these calls are setting the suitable file extension for that image. These calls are setting file path and image name to save that image. We are setting first name of the logged in user to the file name. We are setting a unique ID to that name too. Then image file name ends with the image file extension. Then these codes are moving image file from its temporary location to the saving location. Then these database queries are updating the image file location inside of our database. Then these queries are updating user profile data inside of our database. Then finally all updating processes were completed successfully. This is giving an alert as successfully completed update in the user profile. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.